Hi guys, welcome to another video and this is a video response to Walking the Cow who recently um, made a video on the first video games he ever played. So I'm going to leave a link to his original video below so go check him out. And well, my first console was the Commodore 64. So the first games I ever played are all going to be Commodore 64 games. So without further ado, let's take a look. Okay, so first up we have Flimbo's Crest, and this is possibly the first game I ever played, period. Um, I had this game on a cartridge that would go into the back of the Commodore 64, along with games like Fiendish Freddy and Clax. And this is your classic storyline, you play the title character of Flimbo, and basically a mad scientist called Franz Dandruff kidnaps his girlfriend called Purdy, then you've got to travel across seven levels in order to get her back. To do this, basically you have to collect scrolls for a wizard. He'll give you monsters to go out and kill, and there can be like several of these monsters on the one level, but the one you're looking for is the one that flashes, and then as soon as you kill that monster, you they drop a scroll, you take that scroll back to the wizard, he'll give you another scroll to go and get, and so on and so on. Um, you can also like collect coins and buy power-ups, like extra time, uh, more range to your weapon and you can also collect like different color hearts as well but this is one game I really enjoyed when I was a kid because um, unlike some of the games on the Commodore 64 I was so young playing them I didn't have a clue what I was doing this one I actually did know what I was doing but it's one I've never completed so I would like to go back and do it so yes guys Flimbo's Crest definitely recommend it and hopefully one day I will complete it Okay, so next up we have Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. Now, this was one game back in the day where I did definitely did not know what I was doing. So basically, the storyline to this one, guys, is there's a corrupt businessman called Mr. Tightwad. I am, I am Tightwad. And basically, it's a circus. They owe him money, and if they don't pay up, he's going to demolish the circus and build his own um, empire there. I guess his own towers. So basically then, it's up to the circus to put on a good show and to earn money in order to pay Mr. Tightwad off. Um, so you basically play as a performer, trying uh, six different, I think it's six or seven, six different circus acts and the better you do, uh, the more money you'll be given. So basically this covers diving, juggling, trapeze, knife throwing, tightrope and the human cannonball. Now, the reason it's called Fiendish Freddy is because along the way when you're trying to perform in these acts, um, Mr. Tightwad's lackey, Fiendish Freddy, will try and sabotage the acts, like cutting the tightrope or <laughs> pulling you from the side as you're juggling and blowing you with a huge hairdryer as you're diving. And so basically at the end of the acts, I think you'd like set up to fail in some of them, because I could never complete this game or perform great. So basically then you're judged by like all these clowns on this panel and there is some pretty good animation between them. I, I used to enjoy that bit, it's just seeing like what a clown would do to the next one to that next stream. Doesn't really make sense but I enjoyed it. So guys that is Fiendish Freddy's Big Top O Fun. Okay, this game needs no introduction from me, it is my favourite game on the Commodore 64, Bubble Bobble. Um, I've got such great childhood nostalgic memories for this game, um, playing it with my friends. Uh, for one of my friends' birthday, actually, we were playing the arcade cabinet in a pub, having a tournament, and if you won, you won a bag of marbles. I didn't win, 
wasn't very good back then. But oh, everything from the music to the gameplay of Bubble Bubble, I absolutely love. That's that tune is so catchy, you know. And the game's quite fun, just catching enemies in bubbles and then popping them to kill them and then before advancing to the next stage, collecting power-ups, instant kills, uh, the umbrella that would transport you like several levels forward, which was always welcome if you got stuck on a particular level or so. And of course, as the levels increased, the difficulty increased, but I love this game so much. So guys, bubble bubble, there you go. Okay, next up is Treasure Island Dizzy. I absolutely love the Dizzy games, they're great fun. Of course, back then I was too young to really know how to play this, so my idea was to, to uh, progress as far as I could by keep on going left and left through all the screens, seeing where the story would take me, all the pictures, exploring the treehouse. So, the story of this game obviously looks like uh, Dizzy's been shipwrecked, and you've got to find a new ship in order to return him reunite him with his family. And what's difficult about this game is one hit and you're dead. So you could go so far in the game and then you start again basically. Um, there's plenty of traps um, and it, it is literally like one hit, that's it. One hit, that's it. And you can only pick up three items at a time and you have them in your infantry in sequential order. So if you want like a particular three items and you've got like five or so on the ground, you need to pick up the ones you want in order and then in order to regress from the game. But yeah, these games were developed by the Elf Twins. Those two are so talented, so thank you guys for doing this. Um, oh man, I just love Dizzy. I mean, who would have thought of, you know, controlling an egg with like red boots and gloves? And that music. <whistles> love it. Okay, so last but not least, we have a cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid, Garfield and Friends. This is Garfield's big, fat, hairy deal, and I'm gonna be honest, this is one of the games I did not have a clue what was going on. All I remember is walking from screen to screen, seeing like a bar at the bottom, a coloured bar, depleting slowly, and then when it would empty, you'd get like, game over, or you know, Garfield would fall asleep, something like that. And I, couldn't, I was never too sure what to do in this game, and to be honest, I'm still not too sure, so if anybody out there knows, then please leave a comment below and tell me. I mean, if you got to do things quite quickly, if you got to like, meet objectives quickly, do you like, pick up energy, you know, time extensions, I don't know. But anyway, guys, this is still one of the first games I ever played, Garfield. Uh, obviously not too much because I didn't know what I was doing. I just uh, I, I just enjoyed finding the characters on screen and seeing all the different environments. But guys, that is it. That is Garfield. So please let me know below. Okay guys, so there you have it. Those are five of the first games I've ever played. Please let me know if you've ever played any of these in the comments below. What were your first video games? But please feel free to do a VR to walk in the cow and remember to check out his description. His description? No, remember to check out the link to his original video in the description below. Thank you for watching as ever, really do appreciate it.